okay hello everyone in a new video in this one we are going to solve extra exercise number one in the first unit which is unit of mechanics a solid s is attached from the free end of a string while the other end is fixed to a support as shown in the adjacent figure uh-huh they mentioned the adjacent figure then now we can use it this is the solid s and this is the string Then the solid S is connected to the string via the point of contact A and the string is connected to a fixed support. This is the fixed support. Given the mass of S is M is equal to 5 kilograms, take G is equal to 10 newtons per kilogram. Here M represents the mass of the object S and the G represents the gravitational acceleration or the gravitational field strength. Now in number one they are telling me what are the forces acting on S knowing that one of them is weight. So we already know that one of the forces give, is given by the weight and the other force is given by the tension T and this is because we have a string then whenever we have a string we have a tension then the other force is given by the tension T and in number two they are telling me classify these forces and by classify we need to mention whether these forces are action at a distance or a contact force we know that the only three forces that are action at a distance are the weight the magnetic and the electric force Therefore, the weight W is classified as an action at a distance. And because the tension T is neither magnetic nor electric nor the weight, then it is classified as a contact force. Now in number three, they are telling me list all the properties of the weight acting on us. And by the properties, so properties, let's see, weight, W, the properties are given by the point of application. Line of action. The direction and the magnitude then whenever they, whenever they ask us about the properties we need to list them in this order and they are given by the point of application line of action direction and magnitude which is known as the pildum now because w is an action at a distance force then the point of application will be the center of a gravity G. Whereas the line of action, we know that the line of action for the weight is vertical and the direction is downward. Now, as for the weight W, the first three properties that are given by the point of application, the line of action, and the direction are always fixed to be the center of gravity G vertical downward only the magnitude change and changes and this depend on the object now here the magnitude is not given however they gave me that the mass is equal to 5 kilograms and the g is equal to 10 newton per kilo per kilogram then we can calc we can calculate the weight w using the following formula that w is equal to m times g the value of m is given by 5 the value of a g is given by 10. Plugging this on the calculator will give us 50. Here, let me, okay, 50. Since the mass is in, in the SI and g is in the SI, so the value of w will be in the SI, which is a newton. So the magnitude is given by 50 newtons. Uh, these are the properties of the weight w. Here, let me write that w is equal to 50 newtons. Now, in number four, they are telling me write down the condition of equilibrium between these two forces. Then let's say at equilibrium. Uh, 
and the condition of equilibrium is given by that w vector plus t vector is equal to, to zero vector now if we move uh, the tension t the vector tension uh, to the right hand side of this equation this will give us that w is equal to minus t vector now the first equation tells us that the sum of the forces they are given by the weight and uh, and the weight and the tension t add up so they cancel up to give me the zero vector and the other equation tells us that both w and t have the same line of action opposite direction and same magnitude so here the minus sign stands for opposite direction now in part 5 they are telling me to deduce the magnitude of the other force so they want me to deduce the magnitude of the tension t now we know that w is equal to minus t vector this is given by the equilibrium condition and the word deduce means that we need to use the part just previously before so in part 4 we have determined the, mag the condition of equilibrium uh, this equation gives me three information and they are given by same line of action opposite direction and same magnitude now because you are interested in determining the magnitude of the other force then let's write in magnitude We know that w is equal to t but we we already have calculated the, val the value of w to be 50 newton then t will be also equal to 50 newtons then now we know that the magnitude of the tension t is given by 50 newtons Now in number 6 we need to list the point of application, line of action and the direction of the other force which is given by the tension T. So the line of action, the direction, sorry, let me start with the point of application as mentioned in the question, point of application. And because the tension T is a contact force, then the point of application will be the point of contact between the solid S and the string, then point of contact A, the line of action is vertical, which is the same as the weight, whereas the direction will be the opposite, which is upward. Now finally in number 7 they are telling me represent both forces using scale 1 cm corresponds to 25 newtons. And by represent means that we need to draw both forces on the solid S. So we will represent both forces on the same drawing on the same object. Now our rulers are graduated by centimeters and not in newtons. We have the magnitude of the forces to be given in newtons. Then in order to draw these forces, we need to convert the magnitude to, to centimeters. And this is done using the scale in which each centimeter corresponds to 25 newtons. Uh, let's uh, find the length of the weight vector first. So 50 newton corresponds to how many centimeters? If we crisscross, then 50 multiplied by 1 divided by 25 on the calculator it will give us 2 centimeters knowing that the weight has a point of application which is the center of gravity g then this is 2 centimeters
okay now here each division corresponds to one centimeter two centimeters which is equivalent to 50 newton and the name of this vector is w which is the weight now the tension t which is has uh, which has also a magnitude 50 newton equal to the magnitude of the weight a uh, no need to repeat the calculation because we already calculated that 50 newton is equivalent to two centimeters now the tension t acts on the solid as on the point a vertically upward like this and the length of this vector is given by two centimeters which is worth 50 newtons and the name of this vector is the tension t and by this we have finished solving this exercise hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one